Hi guys, welcome to the GK update series or knowledge sharing series. Uh, in this series, all the videos that I'll be uploading are useful for uh, MBA aspirants and people who are actually preparing for all the exams like bank PO or MBA exams which has GK in it. And also this will help you if you're an MBA student who are actually currently doing an MBA in any of the B school in India. So uh, to get ready for your group discussion or personal interview, you got to know the current affairs. Now what's so special about this series is basically we will not only be discussing the data and the facts and anything else, but along with the data and the facts, we'll be actually talking about why is this happening, what, how it's going to impact or how it's going to benefit. So I'll be doing a lot of analysis on whatever current happenings are there in the market, any damn thing that happens across. So I'll be taking some certain important topics in this series and I'll be presenting it to you along with the database but with the very good analysis anyway so today we're going to talk about acquisitions the topic is acquisitions and we're going to talk about um, the most important one which just happened recently that's amazon taking over more now let's go ahead and understand the nuts and bolts of this entire deal together so the first thing that here is that this deal people say that okay amazon has acquired it by the way but then if you look at this is not actually acquired by uh, amazon completely so um, okay, so more, right? More is like who owns more? Like before Amazon owns it, it was under basically Aditya Birla, you know, retail in uh, uh, series altogether. So Aditya Birla was the, uh, you know, the owner. So uh, more is basically 60% holding in more is from uh, Mangalam Birla uh, family. So it's the complete family that holds around about 60% of the stake in more. Now that stake has gone to Amazon and there is one more player that's called as Samara Capital. Earlier when it was actually initiated, right? So if you look at the, the, the parties out here, very interestingly, Goldman Sachs was also involved in this deal. So earlier it was Samara and Goldman Sachs and Amazon. So these three guys, they wanted to do a consortium and buy more. But then eventually what happened is that Goldman Sachs were left out. And uh, now the deal is basically between Samara and Amazon, uh, you know, buying um, more. Now, if you look at the stakes out here, uh, Samara has the largest stake, which is 51%, and Amazon has 49%. So, more has been bought <clears throat> by these two as a, as, a, as a joint venture, I won't say, but as a consortium, I would say. 51% goes to Samara and 49% goes to um, Amazon. Now, why this was done? I will be preparing a new video altogether wherein we will cite all the reasons and all the, you know, like do's that, you know, because of which this acquisition actually took place. Uh, but yes, the, the main reason for this acquisition is definitely Amazon is looking forward to spread its wings in the retail domain of India, which is like, you know, which has been predicted to value at round about, you know, $1.1 trillion, which is currently around about $67 billion. So yeah, there is a great scope altogether. Okay. So then the next video that I'm going to make, right, I'm, I'm going to talk about a case study, Amazon buying more, and we will be discussing, you know, what's happening in the industry and how this is going to help Amazon to grow their business. Now, if you look at Aditya Birla has 575 stores as far as more is concerned across the country. Now, this is going to go up by 640. So, it's going to touch 640 with this acquisition because the money will be coming and the growth will be there. So, a couple of points that you need to understand as far as your GK or your exam is concerned or something that you should be knowing. So, yeah, you should be knowing that who was involved in this uh, deal altogether. So, it was Samara and Amazon. You should also know who is the head of Samara who's the head of Amazon, who's the head of more currently. So you need to know people who are heading these organizations. Even if you don't know the numbers like 4,100 crore and 4,200 crore, that's okay. That's just, that is not something important. But yes, if you're somebody who is actually um, going for GDPI, for that, this is an important uh, uh, number. Again, 4,000 crore ka jo debt hai, uh, more pe Aditya Birla ka, right? So actually, ye bhi ek important number hai. But for, from a GK perspective, questions kya sakte hai? कि Amazon ने किसको buy किया था उसका owner कौन है समरा capital का owner कौन है head कौन है and uh, who represented this, this deal and all that stuff now this brings that how about we have a look at the total acquisitions that Amazon has done till date trust me if you look at Amazon's history they have done more than 50 60 acquisitions in their lifetime till today but I'm gonna kind of you know give you guys top 10 acquisitions that happened by Amazon till today so the first one is imdb.com Everybody knows what is IMDb.com, right? It's a site which rates, which gives rating to all the um, movies in the world. So Amazon bought it around about 1998. The second was Alexa.com. Now what is Alexa? Let me tell you. Alexa basically is a big data company. Have I highlighted that out there? So what does this company do is basically it kind of provides an analytics 
uh, about the browsing habits of a person. So if you go to alexa.com, alexa.com will also show you. So if you have a website, say abc.com, if you go to alexa.com and if you put abc.com, Alexa will show you the ranking of your website in the world. So it's a pretty good site to be very honest. But yes, then in the year 1999, Amazon bought it for whopping dollar two fifty million, and the entire deal was in stock. Next is Audible.com. So okay, so this company basically sells audiobooks, radio, and TV programs, um, and the audio versions of magazines and newspaper. Uh, uh, something to do with the Apple. If you heard about something called as podcast, right? In the same fashion. And um, yeah, Amazon bought it in the year two thousand and eight for three hundred million. The deal was completely into cash. Now I am saying this cash and stocks and all that. If you're a finance aspirant or if you're a bank aspirant, you must know that you know the mergers and acquisitions do happen in stock, cash, whatever. Anyway, the fourth one was uh, Zappos, right? One point two billion dollar uh, Amazon spent to buy this company in the year two thousand and nine July. So Zappos is basically a leading footwear and apparel website in the world. So this this word uh, Zappos is basically coming from. I'm not sure. There is a word called as Zaptos, which is a Spanish word. But not really sure. So this is something that coming from a Spanish word. So this company was acquired by Amazon uh, in the year two thousand and nine. Then comes Annapurna Labs. Okay, so this is a basically Israel-based chip maker. Uh, you know, they 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 create chips by the way. Amazon bought it for like around about three fifty million dollar uh, in the year two thousand and fifteen. Now, if you look at, I've just told you like five acquisitions that uh, you know Amazon has done till date. But look at the variety and like they're so different. They're like so versatile. So this company is really up to for something really good, and no wonder you know that's the way they are growing and they are touch one trillion as a market cap. The next is A Books. No need to say anything. It's a book company bought by Amazon in two thousand and eight. Then comes Goodreads. Again, the another book company bought by uh, Amazon in the year two thousand and thirteen. The deal price was never disclosed. That's the reason I don't have the database. Number eight and on the chart we have Twitch dot TV. It's basically a live streaming video platform. You know, it's a basically a gaming company, and Amazon bought it in the year two thousand and fourteen, like four years back, for nine seventy million dollar. Then comes Kiva System. It's a robotic company. I don't have to say anything more about it. It's a robotic company that Amazon bought in in the year two thousand and twelve. At last but not the least is the Whole Foods Market. Again, it's a big company, right? They paid whopping thirteen point seven billion dollar in cash. They bought this last year. Uh, this is to basically get into the. This is the basically leading food chain, uh, uh, kind of a retail chain in in USA. So yeah, they they bought this and now they're aiming India and they bought uh, more as as far as uh, uh, 2018 is concerned. Let's wait. Let's hope for the best. If they are buying a couple of more companies and you know trying to expand their businesses, they are basically diversifying a lot. Whether it's good or not, uh, time will prove that. But anyway, these are the top 10 acquisitions that Amazon has done till now. Now, what is important from a GK perspective, or from the questions that you can get in the uh, uh, in the exams? So again, heads, right? All the companies, right? Whatever companies you have, like who are the people who are heading this, right? So, A Books was bought by Amazon in the year two thousand and eight. Okay, so who was the CEO or who was the head, right? And now, what's happening with this? So again, if you look at the uh, if you look at the Amazon, right? They have a lot of departments, like they have retail segment, they have the e-commerce segment. So, who are heading these? You know segments, right? Who are the heads of these segments? Who are the COOs, right? Who are the CFOs, like something like that. So when it comes to exams like SNAP, uh, ZAT, you know, CMAT, IFT test, they might ask you under the category of personalities and people. They might ask you, you know, who are the heads of these companies or who are the heads of these, uh, you know, segments, right? Something like IFT will ask you, okay, what was the size of the deal? But not many exams will ask you the size of the deal and the. You know the dollar amount, but yeah, what's important is that you keep in mind the heads and the personalities attached to these things. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, there is a lot to come on your way, guys. So do subscribe to my channel if you have any questions, any queries. Do comment on the video. Thank you so much, guys, for your time. Thank you.